Empresses. Hey Empress, hey Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Sinayana, but it's a peace, love, and light always. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. It's at Mecca Dreams. Don't get scammed. You can only book a reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box, okay? Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest way, like, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, OG, please come down and protect me. As I channel this different energy, please and thank you. What are the messages today for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. And please come down and protect and cover the viewers who have clicked on this video today. What other message today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Gemini, be mindful. You have a conversation with someone, okay? And they, you think that the conversation is, is strictly staying solely between you and them, and it's not. Somebody is taking screenshots of what you're doing or what you're saying to them. Okay, they could be sending it to different people. All right, yeah. For some of y'all, this is a karmic energy that you are talking to. Okay, this could be someone here, male or female. If it's a male, this man could have a lot of karmic soul connections where he could have created children. Okay, he could have a lot of women pregnant, or they, he could have a lot of children that are that um were conceived out of karmic connections. Or you could be with a woman who is a karmic and she has a lot of soul ties, karmic soul ties with, with different men. She may have different children with different men and they're karmics. You could be connecting to, to this person in one way, shape or form. Okay, or this person's in your energy. Yeah, it's because they, they have secret lovers. Lovers. I don't know if they can see that. Someone has secret lovers. You could be finding this out as well. Someone here was trying to start some type of war with you, Gemini. They wanted to start a war with you. It could be a Sagittarius that was doing this, or some type of or or some type of energy that has like a um, fire in their chart, fire energy, where they want to start some type of war with you. Yeah, this person's like they're not letting you go. So. That there is some type of spiritual war that's getting ready to take place that could be happening at this time where this person wants to fight you because you could be letting them go. You could be moving away. You could be going in a brand new direction. Okay, yeah, we have here, he or she is a gift. So someone is realizing that you are a gift from God. You were sent into their life to help them, to assist them, okay, to, to be a gift to them. Okay, in regards to your love, your energy, your wisdom, the connection overall. Okay, a lot of people are like, oh my God, Mecca, what is abundance? Abundance in all aspects of your life manifests within love as well. Okay, a lot of people that have um, healthy relationships that are blessed under God, that have, that have children that are, are getting ready to step into their paths to do God's will, God, God's kingdom work, these children that are created out of kingdom marriages. You know, a lot of this is manifesting from up above, as above, so below. This is spiritual wealth that people accumulated off of their generation, off of what they're doing in their life at this time. That's how certain people have certain careers, have certain blessings, have certain connections. So you enter this person's life, okay, to give them oof, that one of the one of the strongest like blessings of all, which is love. Okay, which is immense, unconditional love. This is, oof. You're wise. Because you're wise, Gemini. You're very, very wise, Gemini. Let's see what's going on here. You are very, very wise. And someone here could be realizing this about you. They could have underestimated you. They may have thought negatively of you. Yeah, it could have been an Aquarius that did this. You have a lot of blessings coming in. <clears throat> be, oh my goodness, be mindful. This person is trying to trap you with a baby. Oh my goodness, somebody is trying to trap you with a child. But they're lying on your name. 
So this is someone here that is trying to conceive with you. They're trying to set you up. They want to have sex with you. They want to hook up with you. It could be an Aquarius trying to do this. Or they could be having an Aquarius help them do this in regards to you. And it's because you have a lot of blessings coming in. Tell me about this. Ooh. Yeah, it's, that you need to be mindful. Because this person, they cannot be loyal. They're not loyal and they can't be trusted. Yeah. And they're getting ready to lose all their money. Oh, my. So someone here could have came into a lot of wealth very quickly. They could have been like a millionaire or a billionaire or very wealthy. They're getting ready to lose everything very, very rapidly. Oh, my goodness. They could have a very expensive house. They may live in a nice community, but they trap. Okay? It's, it's bugs in the house. It's dirty. Somebody doesn't clean. It stinks. My goodness. Like, it's a rich trap house. It's like it, it may be in some type of nice area or nice community, but they, they're doing illegal dealings in this in this house or it has a lot of negative energy in the house. Okay, yeah, look at this. Oh, goodness. somebody here could be also doing spell work on you guys. And if you knew this, if you knew who it was, you would want to beat their mother freaking behind. Okay, they know it too. They know it. They know it. You're being led to not join. I don't want the, um, the mic be messed up, y'all. <laughs> You're being led to not join the dark side. Don't go dark. Okay, because something that you're doing, you were literally born to do. For some of you guys, this could be in regards to the art. You could be a musician, or this could be a musician doing this to you. This is horrible. Anything else? You, yeah, this, someone here wanted to put you in secret competition, Gemini. They wanted to put you in secret competition because you're a celebrity. You could be in the public eye or this could be a celebrity. They want you to feel like you owe them, like you love them, like you still care for them. They are in denial. So they're trying to be all up in your business. This is someone that is literally trying to energetically mess with you, energetically F with you. So it's time for you to up your spiritual protection, up your prayers. You may already be feeling this about this individual or this person. Okay. I'm seeing here. Someone here could like to put on a show as well. I didn't mean to drop those cards. Someone here could like to put on a show. I'm seeing here, yeah. Someone here is desiring you. You could be very desirable. You may be very, very attractive, Gemini. Okay, yeah, it's time for you to live in your purpose, live in your calling, for you to not shut up. Okay, literally, I don't know, I don't know why I had to say it that way, but someone here wants you to stop talking or stop being so wise or stop in regards to progressing forward. Keep keep moving forward, keep living out loud. Your angels and your ancestors are giving you the strength that you need to continue to move forward. Someone here wants you to be shameful over what you're doing, over your journey. They want you to feel of shame, or this could be someone that's in an energy of shame. At this time, they could be they could be feeling sh very shameful for what they are doing to you, what they could have done to you. OK, let's see here. It's time for you to live out loud. It's time for you to express yourself. Yeah, someone here is in a state of grief. This could be someone you could be in a state of grief at this time, Gemini, or someone here is grieving over you. This could be a, the loss of a connection. You could be loss of a person. Okay, someone here could be pregnant. They may have lost a child. Okay, or or this could be someone here that is is grieving a connection that they could have lost with their child's mother or someone that they have children with. It's because you're going through a radical rebirth, so it's major changes taking place. Someone here could be even grieving how you used to be. Yeah, this person that could have betrayed you. For some of you guys, this is family. I mean to say it this way, but for some of you guys, it could be, oh, I'm getting chills. It could be people in your family, etheric records that are betraying you as well. <clears throat> people are trying to bring storms your way. They're trying to bring storms because they know that you are very, very powerful. I have chills, y'all. Mm. Tell me about this betrayal. Yeah, you already know your intuition has not been lying to you about who's been betrayed, about who's been betraying you, who's been lying to you, who's, who's been deceiving you, who's been trying to keep you in the dark about different things. And it's because you're very powerful. You could even be an alchemist. You may transmute energy. You're very, very powerful. Okay. 
Your communication is strong-willed. Ooh, you hold a powerful energy. And these people are scared. So they want you to diminish your light. They want you to diminish yourself. Yeah, look at this. Gemini, there you go. Because look at what you have coming in. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. This is blessings, abundance, generational wealth, inheritance. Like a, a, a lot. Ooh, somebody doesn't want me to say this. A lot of wealth. It's like these people have a cleaner. You could be getting ready to choose a partner, Gemini energy, a soulmate, where it's going to be a lot of wealth, a lot of prosperity around you. Yeah, you have a lot of options. Someone here wants to confuse you because they could be wanting to take your abundance or they could be wanting to stop you from this blessing that God is trying to bring towards you. But it has to do with a choice in regards to love. Yeah, something to do with the past. You could be connecting to, you could be thinking about the past. You could be connecting to your family members at this time. You could just be reminiscing. Okay, someone here could be thinking about how the past used to be with you. Someone's coming towards you. It could be a fire sign. They could be wanting to talk to you or apologize to you. Water energy is here as well. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Someone here is inspired to talk to you. They could have a crush on you. They may like you. They are, they're an admirer. What's this page of wands? The page of cups is an admirer. Yeah, you have someone that's coming in because they see the end-all, be-all with you. They see the world with you. Ten of Pentacles, they see as, as you as someone that they can settle down with. The Knight of Pentacles is someone here who is very, very strong-willed, okay? They are very, very strong-willed, and they're coming in with a solid commitment. This is someone here that grows like they get it out the mud. They start from nothing and make it into everything. The Knight of Pentacles is the only knight that turns into the King of Pentacles, which is a wealthy, ooh, abundant individual. Very blessed. Okay? Yeah, someone here is very inspired to come towards you. And this is your karma justice. This is good karma coming in for you, Gemini. Someone here wants to, they, 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 they want to know about you. Ooh. There you go, Gemini. Yeah, and it's because Scorpio energy. There you go, Gemini. Aries is here as well as Taurus. Yeah. It's time for you to use your discernment, okay, about this communication coming in, Page of Pentacles. Because right now, ooh, you could be very strong. You could even be very cold with the King of Swords. It's like you're just not with it. You're you're cutting through facts. You're cutting through through um through through deception at this time. And you're not playing any games with your foundation, your money, your home life, your business, your security. You're about this bag. You're about it. The emperor takes care of all responsibilities. This is the king that they, they, they've mastered all the kings of the death. So you coming out as this energy, you're ready to not only settle down, but you're ready for growth and expansion as well. And you're making the right decisions by using your discernment in regards to planting the right seeds with this page of pentacles. Something is getting ready to happen out of nowhere for you. Something's coming in out of nowhere. Yeah, it's it's some it's 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 a king of cups for some of you. It's a it's a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces coming in. They could be coming in after some type of breakup. What's the King of Cups about? Someone has a crush on you. Someone has a crush on you, y'all. The Page of Cups. This person wants to talk to you. And they want to offer you a solid commitment, the King of Pentacles. I just said it. It's going to be successful. But listen, I keep feeling energy of wanting to delay you. Somebody here wants to stop this happiness. Somebody here wants to delay this for you. It's someone from your past here that wants to cause a tower to you. Someone from your past is trying to cause some type of uproar. Who's this Six of Cups here? This is the, look, this is the truth. This is the truth. Somebody from your past is trying to stop this. They're trying to literally keep you stuck or reminiscing or stuck in some type of past connection or past relationship. They're really determined. They're really, really determined to play dirty, to lie, to be deceptive. This could be a Virgo with, ooh, double Virgo. The hermit with the magician. Somebody here has been studying you and they're trying to manifest different things to happen within your life. The hermit with the magician. You intuitively know you really need to use your intuition about this person that's trying to play dirty. You are very much tapped in, very spiritually gifted and inclined. Okay, God has given you the wisdom, the insight, the spiritual gifts and talents that you need to see the truth. Somebody here has been manifesting things in the dark. The hermit, somebody here doesn't want to be, they don't want to be seen. Okay, they could be acting like they're healing or they're working on themselves, but they're really manifesting. They're... 
Gemini. Gemini, listen, Gemini, somebody wants this connection with you and you see who's coming out. It could be a Capricorn or someone that's toxic, dark, demented, a narcissist. They're very codependent, needy, abusive, mentally, emotionally manipulative. Someone wants to keep you bonded to them, chained to them, Gemini. They want your love, your healing energy, Gemini. Look at this pure love that you give and you, you bring. You, you give off soulmate energy and someone here wants to keep you tied to them. I couldn't even get it out. They want to keep you bonded and stuck to them. They want to come rushing in very quickly, very hastily. This could be someone that's militant, very aggressive, okay? They like to argue. They're very strong-willed. Look at this person. It could be a fire sign. Male or female, they're coming out as a very masculine energy that they want their way. They want their way with you by any means necessary. This is somebody here that's like, by any means necessary, they want control or dominance over you. They can even be getting readings done on you to try to figure out who you're giving to, how they can come back to give to you. There's a plan here. Somebody here is trying to devise a plan, okay? You need to walk away. The Eight of Cups, they could be getting you to walk away from an investment or you need to walk away from this investment. This could be someone that you could be investing to at this time that's toxic. That's, that doesn't serve you. It's time to go. It's time to get to step in. Okay. It's time to leave this alone. You're getting ready to meet your person. This is judgment. The king to the queen of cups. You're getting ready to meet somebody who has done the work just like you, the healing work just like you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're getting ready to meet a true divine soulmate. Okay, Gemini. This is your judgment. This is God's judgment for your life that it will be successful. The six of wands, you meeting your person, someone here that is healed, they're ready to offer a cup of love just like how you are. They're ready to connect with you on a deep emotional level. Someone here has healed. They're very spiritual based. They're, ve they're very connected to up above. Someone here is very loving, kind, a nurturer, a provider just like you. It's equal. It's going to be equal in amounts of compassion, kindness. This is, a, this, is like a, this is a perfect soul bond. This is why judgment is here. God is calling judgment on this. It's a choice. All right, y'all. I hope this helped you. And if it did, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing y'all in the next video.